find your way back home Alright, so today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial that is different than I normally do. And it seems though you guys way prefer talk through to voice over, so this should be interesting. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I thought I would do a cool toned makeup look for you today. I never do those. Barely have ever done it on my channel, but I thought background is fitting. Might as well do something cool toned. And I just got the new Makeup Geek foiled lip glosses and foiled pigments in the mail. And some of these are perfectly cool toned. This one is like a cooler toned brown and it's called Gargoyle. Oh dear Christ, is it pretty. Gargoyle would go really, really well with this vinyl color. This is the vinyl lip gloss and this is the Gargoyle shade. Um, maybe I'll do something with those. You guys want to see that? Okay, even if you don't, <laughs> I don't care. My channel. Oh. So I'm gonna start off with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just gonna dot a bit of that on my eyelids. I haven't tried this out yet, but this is the new Sigma 3D HD. It's a, it's a beauty blender, but it's like it's like 3D. Wonder why they came up with a name for that, you idiot. So I'm just gonna blend that into my eyelids. So if you don't know what this step is for, this just evens out your eyelid tone so that your veins aren't showing through with the eyeshadow. Just helps prime for it. Then I'm gonna take some of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I am going to dust that all over my eyelids to make sure that they're not sticky anymore before I do my eyeshadow. I'm taking the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade here which is the lightest cool tone shade in the palette. On my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush, I'm just gonna run that through kind of high up into the crease because I want this to be a, a halo eye, but I want it to be a high up halo eye. Like I'm gonna bring it really high up on my eye. So then I'm gonna go in with this shade here from the Morphe 25A. It's more of a cooler toned brown. You can see it's not too warm or red like these. And run that on the edges. As you can see, I'm just sort of like running it over and over again. I'm just sort of taking it on that area and just blending it back and forth up and down. You can see how high I'm taking it up onto my brow bone because again, I want this to be like a really high up halo eye. I hate my teaching voice. It's like, I want this to be like a really high up halo eye. I hate it. My teaching voice is my least favorite thing in this world. So I, used the biggest fluffy brush, the Sigma E40, on my outer lids, and then I'm gonna take a smaller brush, which I'm gonna use the Luxie 237 brush, and I'm gonna use this one to do the inner portion of my eye so that it's not so big, fluffing into the, all the fluff, all the, yeah, yeah. This looks horribly messy and dirty right now because I don't have any foundation on or anything. I promise you, it will come together. Don't, don't lose faith. Those of you who don't know what a halo eye is, a halo eye is when the inner and outer corner of your eye are darker and then you put the lightest color in the center of your lid and then it gives like that halo effect where it's like a gradient and the center of your eyelid is like really popping. Again, with the teaching voice, it's like a really popping. Guys, it's like a really, it's like an upwards inflection I have at the end of my sentences and it, it like makes me sick to my stomach. I literally hate it so much. This looks so janky right now. But have faith in me, cause it will come together. I wanted this to be like super grungy and real smoky. Sort of start with the lightest shade and then I go all the way down to the deepest shade. Um, for this I'm using that darkest color in the Morphe palette. And uh, not the darkest, there's a black in there, but it's like the darkest cool tone brown. And um, I'm just kind of running that on in my crease and then blending it out a little bit so that it's nice and deep and grungy. Okay, now that the color's kind of placed down, I'm going to just soften out the edges a bit so they don't look so harsh. I'm do the eyes first because I'm using products that have a lot of fallout and I don't want to ruin the foundation. So now I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek Foiled Pigment and this is in the shade Gargoyle. And I am going to run that all up in the center of my eyelid. 
As you can see, Makeup Geek listened to the suggestion and they, they put a hole in the center and they fixed the pigment. So it's easy to work with now. It doesn't fall out all over the place like their other pigments. So taking any sort of flat brush, I'm using just this one from Coastal Scents. It doesn't matter, it's stained red, but that doesn't matter. And I'm patting it into the pigment. I'm gonna kind of pat it off onto the back of my hand so that it's not falling out everywhere. Pat that onto the center of my eyelid. Dude, this has no mixing medium in it. This is literally straight pigment onto my eye. Then I'm just gonna take that brush from before and just sort of buff over the edges. So it just sort of blends together a little bit more instead of being so harsh. Then I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Obsidian. And I'm gonna run that up through my upper waterline and my lower waterline. I'm also gonna run a little bit of it on my outer corner here. I am gonna throw some lashes on. These are from Coco Lashes. Don't ask me the name of them. I will put it up here on the screen because I cannot remember the style. I've literally been talking. I did my full brows on camera and I explained the whole situation to you and I wasn't recording the entire time, so. All right, so I did my brows before I did my foundation. This is something I don't typically do, but I've seen people doing it all over the damn place. Like, then they like clean up their brows. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I always see people doing their brows first like this, and I don't, I never really understood it because I'm always a do my brows last type of person, but I just wanted to give it a shot. I, thought, I figured there's no better time to try it than now. That's really satisfying looking, you have to admit. I love it, it's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> the brush I'm using right now is the Sigma Flat Definer, the E15. I think I wanna use the NYX Total Control Drops today. I haven't used them in a few weeks and I just really feel like using them. I find the claims on this foundation to be a lie. I love NYX so much and I would never wanna, you know, say anything negative, but how they say like, you know, four drops is full coverage. <sighs> per quadrant, maybe. This color is too light for me, I'm gonna have to really bronze up my face. I don't know if I like this sponge, it's kind of hard. I definitely prefer my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. Then I'm gonna take the NYX HD concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers ever. It stays dewy looking. I like Tarte Shape Tape, but it, it's almost too drying for me. This stays really dewy and beautiful and fresh and skin-like. Dude, NYX is amazing. Doesn't look cakey, it provides beautiful coverage. They're $5, you really can't go wrong with the NYX HD concealers and foundation. I don't know why more people don't talk about them. I literally never see anybody talk about them. I'm gonna take more of that Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes with that. Take any excess powder and just kinda pat certain areas that I get little shiny. I'm just gonna run some of that same medium brown shade from the Morphe palette right underneath my eye. And really smoke her on out. All right, now let's contour this mug because it is round and moonish and lacking any sort of shape whatsoever. My favorite contour palette is the Kat Von D shade and light. And I like to take this shade right here, which is the lightest cool toned contour shade. This is the Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush, but it works really good for contouring. This must have blush on it because now my contour looks pink. Uh, so that's fun. Excuse me. Get off my face, you little bitch. Coat my bottom lashes. Now I'm going in with my favorite highlight, which is the Balm's Mary Luminizer. You can use any highlight that you like, but this one, as you know, is my personal fave. So now I wanna try the new Makeup Geek foiled lip glosses. Now you know I'm not a huge fan of lip products, 
But I thought I would branch out of my comfort zone today since I did with the cool toned brown eyes. And I am going to with the cool toned brown lips. Okay. Final verdict on this makeup and these makeup glosses. I really like these. I find them comfortable. They are sticky in a way. They're not horrible by any means, but I like the makeup look. It's, it's, um, it's really cool toned. It's really grungy. It's really fun. It's not the cleanest makeup look, but it's really easy. As you saw, hopefully I explained it in a way that wasn't like horrible. You know I'm not a huge fan of lip product, but this almost comes off as like a silvery blackish brown. Um, so I'm super into it. In camera, it looks darker than it appears in person. In person, it looks almost like pewter, like a like a rusty pewter. It's really pretty. Uh, these are pretty cool, and I have a little sheet here. By the way, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. These are sent to me. I get PR from Makeup Geek, but no, I am not sponsored. I'm not even required to talk about these at all. But if you guys would want them, they are $15 a piece for the lip gloss, which is not bad. The foiled pigment singles are $12 a piece, which is not bad at all. Look at this foiled pigment. Oh, this one's called Voodoo. It's so green. And one of the other ones that was so pretty, which, I mean, honestly, they're all beautiful. They're all so beautiful. And I didn't need to even use a mixing medium or a um, setting spray to make it look like this. This is just patted directly onto my eye and it doesn't budge. Like it's not falling out, it's not chunky at all, uh, which you can find sometimes with pigments. And this is really comfortable, really pigmented too, as you can see. This is about two coats of this, but it doesn't get more uncomfortable the more coats you put on. So I'm into these. I'm really, really into these. Thank you so much, Makeup Geek. It means so much to me that you send these to me and I am going to get good use out of them for damn sure. I think I might do a standalone video on the pigments and on the lip stuff. Maybe if you guys want that, you guys let me know if that seems interesting to you at all. But I could like swatch all of the lip glasses and then swatch all of the pigments and maybe like do something else with them or something. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let me know. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos whenever I feel like it. <laughs> There's no set schedule right now, but hopefully there will be one day as we kind of get the ball rolling and figure things out on what you guys like to see, etc. I'm flicky bun again today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Why am I looking at myself when I say bye? Bye.